They tattooed me. I was dragged from my cave and strapped down. A shovel-headed creature with long spines running down its back rubbed some kind of lotion on my arm. A grotesque tattoo ran the length of the creature's forearm, and I worried I may suffer the same fate. I tried to escape, but the metal bonds that held me down were too strong. What's going on here? The creature squeezed my arm tight and fought a thick telex hook through my skin. I gasped, then held my breath to stop from screaming out in pain. Bright lights flashed in my eyes, followed by images of the mining caves. The ball of fog. Through the pain, I somehow made contact with the device in my head. I exhaled, and the image faded. Another deep breath brought the image back. Two Taranka in the mine. The taller Taranka had a gruesome scar across its face. Both loomed over a small, helpless creature. The smaller creature was mostly skin and bones and covered with raised spots. Shriveled in agony, the smaller creature released a manic cry. I told you everything. I don't know where Quinblain is. Now, let me go. I exhaled. The vision faded. Quinblain? The shovel-headed creature wiggled the metal hook under my skin, around my arm bone, and back out the other side. Then another hook. I gasped and held my breath. The vision returned. The small, spotted creature lay dead, left to rot in the dark mines. The Taranka were gone. The shovel-headed creature attached a metal plate to the hooks in my arm. It's not so It's not so The creature attached one more plate with symbols cut out of it, then tightened the bolts, forcing my skin through the notched out metal. A searing hot rag was placed on my arm, burning my raised skin. I squirmed in agony as mist rose from the rag and gathered around my head. After what felt like an eternity, the rag, plate, and hooks were removed, leaving a gnarled scar along my arm. Back to work. Back to work. I left the room, marked by the same tattoo as the female earthling. But as my arm throbbed with pain, a new mystery arose. Who, or what, was Quinplane? And could it help me escape these dreadful minds? Quinplane.